And then you have a third, mm -hmm. a quarter, a fifth, a sixth, and a seventh, okay? Mm -hmm. And you have to put plus or minus signs in each of those so mm -hmm. that you get the smallest possible positive number. Okay. So at the moment, you don't know too much about them, except that this is obviously the biggest and this is the smallest. Yeah. And this is twice, more than twice as big as that. Yeah. Um, okay, you can try common denominators and stuff like that. So, I mean, at the worst, this problem is, there's just kind of just like 32 plus or minus, 32 yeah. possibilities to try. Yeah. Okay. But it could be pretty bad actually to do one of those possibilities if you don't know how to add them properly. Yeah. Um, okay, but out of all those possibilities, you can break them up into cases. Yeah. Or it's like like how many how many negatives, how many positives, right? Mm -hmm. So we could have five positives, no negatives, four, one, three, two, mm -hmm. two, three, one, four, zero, five, right? Yeah. And obviously this is negative. Yeah. Um, so this is all negative. We want a positive number, right? Yeah. Um so one four is also all negative. Because yeah. any one of them is smaller than the sum of the other four. So a third is smaller than all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I mean, if you have four positives and one negative, right? Yeah. And the smallest number you can have is if you minus a third from it. Yeah. Right? But um, if you minus the third from it, so this is roughly 0.3, this is. 0 0.25, 0 0.2, there's like 0 0.45, yeah. right? Yeah, so a third, 0 0.2, 0 0.16. So a third you could just minus from those two, right? Mm -hmm. And a seventh you could minus from a fifth. Yep. Right? Yeah. So if you so that means you can do two minuses that'll stay positive and still be less then with one minus. Yeah. So it can be positive. And you and you use using minus a third, right? Yeah. But this this is a, a smallest possible as minus a third. Mm -hmm. So then these two don't work anymore. Yeah. Alright. So then it's just a question of whether it's three positives and two negatives or two negative two positives and three negatives. Yeah. Um, can you have three negatives? So to get three negatives, right? Yeah. Um you can use the last three. Yeah, if you use the last three. If, th if that doesn't stay positive, then you don't have any chance, right? Yeah. So, okay. And this is may maybe where you want to get a common denominator. Yeah. So you have the common denominator of 3 times 4 times 5 times 7, right? Yeah. And the first one is... 4 times 5 times 7, mm -hmm. right? Yep. The next one is 3 times 5 times 7. Mm -hmm. Then it's 4 times 3 times 7. Yep. 2 times 5 times 7. Mm -hmm. And two times, 3 times 4 times 5. Yeah, 3 times 4 times 5. And so we want to subtract these three from those two. Mm. So this is so the bottom is four twenty. Yep. And the top is thirty five hundred. 
Sixty, no? yeah. So if we add these three up, we get one fifty four to two fourteen, right? Mm -hmm. And this is two forty five. Yeah. So it does stay positive, right? Yep. Yeah. Can be positive, right? So that can be positive. Mm. But then you notice if you subtracted, if you got try to make it any smaller, I, I think it'll be negative. Yeah, because and if, the difference between eighty four and one hundred and five is twenty one. So if you swatch, swap them, swatch, uh, switch them around, yeah, and you get um, it's a difference of forty two, uh, from the over, from the thing, and since yeah. the it'll currently it's 31. like thirty one. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, so basically if. To get it any smaller, you would have to switch mm. the 105 with the 84, right? Mm. And if you did that, it would become negative. Yeah. Um, but now you can notice that um, two, having three positives and two negatives is basically the opposite of that. Yeah. So then since um, it, it, if it was 31, then now it's negative 31. So now if you add the 42, it becomes 9 or 11. Yeah, so if you have three positives, you're saying that... Um, it's the opposite. To get it as big as possible? Um like the yeah, the lowest possible one. So three negatives is uh, three positives and two negatives is basically the opposite of that. Or two negatives yeah. and three. What do you mean by opposite? Like anything like any result you can get from um three positives and two negatives, you can you get the um you get the negative version of that. Right, right, right. Um, okay, so if you get the negative version of that, um, so ah, okay, so because when you switch that one, you get you get the the first negative one. Yeah. Then that will be the first positive one for this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's one way to see it. So. So basically what that means is we make the 140 negative and the 84 um, negative, right? Yep. And we make the 105 positive, 70, and 60 positive. So you get 235. Yep. 235 minus 224 is 11. Yep. Right? Yeah. And then that'll be the smallest yep. possible, basically. So it's either 11 out of 420 yep. or whatever we had before, like 31 out of 420. Yeah. So eleven yeah. out of fourteen is obviously small. Yeah, so, and, and then it, and, it, and it's obviously between um, uh, yeah. one over one hundred fifty and one twenty. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, I think another way you can do it because the answers are like between one and fifty and one and twenty and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Another way you can do it is if you put them in decimals. Oh. Yeah, because decimals. They're pretty compatible with the, the answers of the question. Oh. So if you had this, you could be 0 0.333. 0 .3. This would be 0 0.250, 0 0.200, 0 0.166. 167. Yeah. Um, if you round it, let's just not round it. Um, 0 0.14. Something, something. Yeah. I think it's two eight. Oh. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. So like the point is, I guess, if the question asks you if it's between one and a hundred and one and fifty or something, right? Mm -hmm. So that's like point oh one and point oh two. So like, it seems like you shouldn't need to know more than three decimal places. Yeah. For this question. Okay. So again, I think it would be pretty easy to eliminate the cases where there's more than um, there's four plus or four minus yeah. signs. Oh, I think what you can do is, so you find the total of this, 
we can find the total and then um, you can just like you go down into um, you half it and then mm -hmm. you keep going down and see um, what's the closest thing you can get to it you have it so you find a total and um if you go like if you say plus one it, so for you have two halves and then if you plus one and minus one maybe plus one on one side and minus one on one side mm. and see if tr and try to match it up to like the sum of a few of those mm -hmm. if it matches up and um then the other side is obviously just the negative version of that uh, or the negative of the rest mm -hmm. so then by that that's an easy way to find out like hmm it, or you basically just try to get as close as possible to half. To half like, the total. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see what that does. So you have like 0.3 something, yep. 0.5 something. Wait. Yeah. 0.75 uh, something. 1.08. Yeah. So 5.8. Oh, 0.5 oh, five. So you're trying to get as close to 0.54 five, five. Yep And how are you trying to do that? Like, just go up and You can either just look through the Look at the numbers or go up and down by one Like Go up um, one, hundred, one hundredth every time And just see or go down Or you just look at the numbers and see which one gets real close and an obvious one you can see is um, 0 0.33 and 0 0.2. That gets really close to it. Mm. And so the other ones must add up to like a bit over it. Over it. So those can be positive and those are. Negative. Oh, okay. So that's like the 8 4 thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. Yeah. So this is plus these together 0 0.53, so, right? Yeah. And plus this is 0 0.55. Mm, yeah. Uh, so then you end up with um zero point oh two something. Uh yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. This is plus plus plus. Is that right? Yeah. Minus minus. So this is um let's do this is point oh five, right? This is point three oh eight something mm. eight or nine eight or nine this is point three 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 yep. um yeah this is plus and that's minus. Yeah. So then it's really just minus. So it's 0 0.05 yeah. minus 0 0.0, basically 0 0.03. Yeah. So that's 0 0.02. 0 0.02. And that's. Yeah, so we're minusing something more than 0.03, right? Yeah. So it's something less than point oh two. Wait, uh, something less than point oh two. No, no, no. It should be more than point oh two. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because that's um. The bottom thing is like 0 0.308, so then when you subtract it, it's like 0 0.02. Five. Yeah. Five. Um, okay, so. 0 0.05. 0 0.333, right? Yep, and then that goes to 0 0.025. Yeah. yeah, something. Okay. And that's a minus. Yeah, and then that'll be that'll be minusing more than that. Yep. Um, and we get put them up. Yeah. So then it'll be so this minus one point oh five will be point 
uh, <coughs> to something, right? Yep. So it'll be between 1 in 50 and 1 in 20. 1 in 20. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so for this one, like, if you want to write as a proof, it's important to consider all the cases. Yeah. Okay, but as a, as a question, it's just enough to um, be distinct from the other options. Yeah. 